Hello and hello friends. So follow up on the DaVinci Resolve tutorials and today we're gonna try to do color correction on the GoPro footage. So I have a couple of lens shots and then the rest is underwater. So we're gonna try to do basic correction using the color page on DaVinci and also I'm gonna show you how to apply changes on multiple clips. First of all, I did my shots using special settings on my GoPro. If you're interested in knowing how I do my settings with my GoPro, you can check the video in the corner and come back to this one later. It's very important to use a flat profile when you do your shots with your GoPro. Like this, you have much more power with your color correcting on DaVinci Resolve. So let's start with this clip. As we can see here, we have a scope. So we can change the scope from parade, waveform, vector form and everything. I think parade is very interesting because I have the three cursors next to each other so I can really see what is more and what is less like blue, red and green. First of all, when you do your color correction, it's important to figure out the problems that you have on your shot. So I think for this one, it's a little bit too bright. Of course, we can see all of those peaking and maybe it needs a little bit blue and it's too much red. So first of all, we're going to try one thing. I'm not gonna keep it, but for you to know, if you don't want to work too much on color correction, you can just click on auto balance here with the A. I click right here and right away, I have a much more pleasing picture. This, I can use it as reference. If you want, you can start from it. So you have already this correction and then from it, you're gonna do minor corrections, for example, uh, keep the black from being all the way down like this. So to go back, I go Control Z. As you can see, it's very different. And now I'm first gonna try to pick a white balance. So what I can do is I can right click here, node label, click and then rename my node. It's very interesting to be able to know what your nodes are doing. If later on I want to come back on only white balance, I can just go on this one. So then you can work here on the wheels here, or you can work on those RGB mixers, but the basic option would be to select white balance, go on your image and try to choose a place where you have white or gray. So let's go here. You see this one, it was a little bit orange or so, and it brought my blue up a little bit. Now I think I still have a little bit too much green, so I may go on the mixer this time and reduce the green a little bit and as well the red. So now I have a correction that seems to be okay for white balance. Okay, next, I'm gonna do Shift S to make another node. And on this one, I'm going to work on luminosity and contrast. So luminosity, I, I can call it contrast. So now I'm on this node, still on the same clip. And what I see is it's too bright all the way. So what I can do on this one is work on the offset. Because the offset, as you can see, it's moving all of my cursors the same way. It remains the same height but it's bringing everything down. So for this one, it's perfect because that's what I want. I have nothing peaking here anymore. And in the bottom, I'm still not touching the zero. It's important to try to have those to peak at maximum 1000 and go down to minimum zero or close to zero. So now what I do, I can increase the contrast a little bit. And this is gonna expand those a little bit. I don't like it's too much right now. Okay, so maybe like this is okay. Now I can see that on the blue, I can bring it up a little bit in gain. Not too much. I'm around 1000 here, so I think it's enough. And I can bring the lift down a tiny bit for the contrast. Okay, I think I'm okay for luminosity and contrast. I'm at 
the limit pre-batch on both ends. Now I can do another correction, Shift S, and this time I'm gonna work on the color a little bit. I know my white balance is quite okay, but it's not perfect. So I can increase the saturation a little bit, and I can go on number two here, and change a little bit the temperature to make it a little bit warmer and the tint as well a little bit to make it a little bit more blue. Okay, so now what I can do, if you want to check the result of the node, you can do Ctrl D and you see what it was before and after. So this node, I can call it color. I think now I have a much better result than before. The whites are white. I have highlights and shadows that are close to the maximum, and I brought back some color. The reason I brought back some colors is because when I use the flat profile of the GoPro, it flattened the picture. So it's not as contrasty or as much color as it would be otherwise. So now I have a next clip, and this next clip, actually, I can just decide to use the image from the first one, actually the corrections from the first one. So what I can do, I do control click and then I go on my previous click and I click on the wheel, right like this. And now I can go on this clip and I see that all of the corrections I've done previously are here on the second clip. Command D to see without, that was only the color, but so by applying this correction in one time, I'm not making this one perfect, actually, because it's probably a little bit too dark, but I'm already doing most of the corrections. Of course, I shot those two clips with the same camera and with the same setting. It was the same day, same luminosity, pretty much. So it's going to help a lot and save you lots of time. This one, I think it's a little bit too dark for me. So I'm going to try to brighten it a little bit. So I'm going to go on contrast and maybe I can bring the offset up a little bit. And you see in one click, I was able to bring the shot the way I want. You see, those two now are matching pretty well together and it's much better than it was before. Okay, so now let's go on the underwater ones. For all of the clips, that are super shallow, I probably will be able to do the same, do one correction and for sure for those two apply it together. But then if you go later on in the clip, I can see that this one is much, much deeper. So I will probably have to redo some color corrections later on to adjust to my clips. Of course, I'm not going to do all of them but I will also show you a couple of tricks to make sure that you can balance the clips together and make them quite nice. Actually, this clip, I can bring the color from the previous one. So I can click here. I do control click for those two. And then I middle click here. And now those have been corrected. Okay, so let's go underwater. So, Valentin here, we can see the problems here, so it's a little bit too bright. The white balance seems to be quite okay, but we're gonna try to see how we can correct it. So you see, here I have a black, a gray, and those are things that help a lot normally to do your corrections. So let's try on the black here. As you can see, we have numbers red, green, and blue. And the red is the lowest one, but underwater it's quite normal. We know that we lose colors underwater, so we don't want to bring back everything. Otherwise it wouldn't look like underwater. So it's not a problem to have it a little bit lower. As you can see this one, I adjusted my cursors here, but now Valentin looks all red, and that's not really what I wanted. So I can correct it here. I go on RGB mixer and I'm gonna remove some red, remove a little bit of green, a little bit red again, and now it's a little bit more blue and a little bit more pleasing. I will go back on it later. Now it's just a first draft, okay? So rename this one, white balance, and now do another node, Shift S, and on this node we're gonna work on contrast. So what we can see on this one is that it's peaking for all of those. So we're going to go back on this one. 
and do offset first. So offset, we bring everything down like we've done before. You see, sometimes you have only a couple of areas that are peaking. So you may want to reduce the gain and then change with the gamma and get the lift to bring the blacks all the way black. But when you see that your lines, I mean, when you see that your cursors are not even, Sometimes it's better to bring everything down. Like this, I'm able to bring back some white if I want, but I worked on the luminosity of the whole picture and made it easier. So now I can try to bring up a little bit the highlights, which is gain for Da Vinci. I'm still used to uh, Adobe Premiere numbers, I mean names, and now I can bring the lift down almost to touch at zero and you can see that with command D I had an image that was very bright very flat and now control D that's what I have I may want to bring the gamma up a little bit to make it a little bit brighter and I think now I have pretty much what I want so now I do shift S one more node and this one again we're gonna work on the color so for colors I'm gonna go on color boost here i bring it up a little and now i can go on temperature tint to have a nicer blue in the back and i think it's pretty good saturation just a little bit more and i think it's quite okay now so let's try to apply it to this one because that's pretty much what we had on the previous one so Control click and then we'll click on this one and now I corrected this clip also. So I can review how it is, but it seems to be quite nice. Maybe I can get this one a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna go on contrast and bring down the lift a little. So you see a couple of clicks and I'm correcting the whole thing. Let's try to correct this one also. So select this one first, control click, center click. And now I can see that also for this one, it worked. So I said before, when we're gonna go deeper, of course, for example, for this clip, the colors are gonna be completely different and we're gonna have to find different solutions. But right now, for example, those two extra clips, pretty much I can correct it using the settings from the first ones and then just change a couple of things from it. Okay, so this one, it's a little bit too dark. So I just go on my lift, go on contrast, and then bring my lift up a little. And now I have my three clips adjusted together and it works pretty well. Next one, let's try also to do it like this. So control, and I'm gonna do both at once, and then we'll click. So now, as you can see, the water is really blue, the contrast is much higher, and it looks better. So, but this time, I probably need to add a little bit of red because I lost it from going a little bit deeper. So I go on color that I didn't rename, my bad, yeah, it was never renamed. I can go on color for this one and then just warm up the picture a little bit. So I'm gonna go on number two here and I'm going on temperature and I warm up a little bit and on tint to keep the nice blue of the background. So those match pretty well. Next one, this one was probably a little deeper again. So once again, I'm gonna clip on this one, warm up a little bit, tint for the blue and probably this time I need to work on my white balance because I see that the red is very, very low. So as you can see, this one is very green. So I can go on my red output and bring up some red. So now the bubbles look more white and the C fan is getting all of its colors back. When you correct it more, you want to make sure that it's okay for the whole clip because you see this one, the water is getting a little bit red. So I'm gonna reduce it a little bit. I could work on having, for example, less red at the beginning, I mean more red at the beginning and less at the end, but this, if you're interested, we can do it in a new tutorial. So we already have many clips corrected. Probably this one was a little bit too green. So let's do white balance a little, bring a little bit red, take out a little green, and here we go. Okay. I'm gonna work on one final clip 
and I'm gonna show you two techniques to work on this one. This one, the color is way off. The white balance is horrible on this one. So I do my white balance. I'm gonna try to pick from here. Here, I pick the white balance and I go on something that is gray or black. And as you can see, the sand is horrible. Everything is very bad. So the color correction was too much on this one to make it possible. So I do Control Z. Now, what are my other options? I can try to go on my RGB mixer. So what do I see? I have too much green and blue, and of course, not enough red. So I can add a little red. As you can see, it's bringing it up a little bit. Remove some green, remove some blue. Now it's too much red. But you can see it's not very good. I cannot add what's not in the picture, okay? So now I can do another node, Shift S to add this one for contrast again and do all of my corrections. But I'm not very happy with it. Let's see how it's gonna be. So offset, bring it down the whole thing a little bit. The gain a little bit less as well and the lift as well a little bit. But you can see this picture is all green and not very good. So I'm gonna delete all of this. Okay, now I have no more correction. Another option that I have with DaVinci Resolve is to try to match two clips together. So for this one, I select my clip, the one I want the correction to be applied to, and then I pick a clip that I want to take the color from. So I do control click, then I can right click on it and then go to, and then go to shot match to this clip. And I click OK. You can see this clip is not perfect, far away from perfect, but it's already much better than what we had before. So this correction, this node actually would be previous clip. And then I can add a node and change it a little bit to correct it the way I want. So I'm gonna do my white balance again, but this time I'm gonna try to do it just with the RGB mixer. So what do I have? I have too much blue this time, so I can remove a little bit and a little bit green. So now I have something quite decent, Shift S, Right click, note label, contrast. I see that this clip is too dark. So I'm gonna go here. Offset, I cannot bring it up because I have some gain that is very high as well. So I'm gonna lower it a little, not too much. I'm gonna bring up my gamma and I'm gonna keep it from clipping. So as you can see, the result is not perfect. Let's go on white balance again, and maybe we can remove again a little red and bring up a little blue. Okay, so this clip is not perfect now, but it's already better than it was. And now I'm getting some colors that are kind of according to the previous ones. Of course, it's not the same, but this one was at maybe four meters, three meters, when this one is probably at around 10 meters. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you learned a few things from this tutorial. I'm gonna keep working on those sequences, and then I will probably publish Valentine introduction, and you'll be able to see the final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want some more infos if you're interested in anything that could help you do your color corrections don't hesitate to ask in the comments and i'll see you in the next video you can also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out thank you see you next time happy bubbles